Good morning, metalheads of the internet, and welcome to a very special, intimate episode of the Metal Meltdown. You look exquisite today, positively radiant. Did you get your hair done? Is that a new dress? My god, whatever it is, it's working for you, baby. I'm not normally this forward with random people I meet online, but I've got a nice big fucking package here below the waist if you catch my drift. Would you like to take a look at it? Yeah, I fucking bet you would. And that's the focus of today's very special unboxing video. Wow, look at this. Look at how big it is. This is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm guessing that you've probably read the title of this video and therefore you have a decent idea as to what might be in this package but just in case you didn't just in case you don't why don't you humor me for one more second while we open this together just fucking like yeah here we go chopping up some shit for youtube i bought a bunch of stupid shit i'm fucking broke and i can't pay rent but at least i've got vinyl records please do not bend well since i don't know what this is just yet i'm going to listen to the box i don't normally take orders from a box but that might be important so i'm gonna not bend it and now ladies and gentlemen may i present the one the only under the guillotine from creator an absolutely massive box set containing creator's first six studio albums on limited edition vinyl amongst a host of many other rarities oddities and goodies which we will go over when we approach them when we find them even for that matter because look at this fucking thing look how chunky this big boy is we've got endless pain the band's debut album right here a truly delicious slice of german fucking thrash and heavy metal uh again these are all on very limited pressings i actually don't really remember off the top of my head what they're supposed to look like so let's do this together Oh, <gasps> that's fucking hot. That's fucking sexy. I'm a little turned on right now, not gonna lie. No exaggeration whatsoever. Y'all should know what comes next in this box set. The one, the only, pleasure to fucking kill. One of the greatest thrash and extreme metal records of all time. This is actually the first time I'm seeing this on vinyl. So, you know... I'm pretty fucking stoked right now. Pressed on. Ooh. Nice solid red with some black splatter. Nice. Fucking nice, dude. Guaranteed this will be the first album we play from this particular box set tonight. Next up, Terrible Certainty. Y'all ready to hear something crazy? Another fucking fantastic record. I know. Shocking, right? And this is pressed on... Ooh, fucking transparent with fucking red and pink splatter. Fucking nice. Then we have Extreme Aggression. This one I have seen on vinyl, weirdly, in some stores around Toronto, but I'm happy I waited to pick it up because now I've got this very special exclusive variant. One that is pressed on... Black? Oh, orange and black. I was about to say, you can't really call this an exclusive pressing if it's just on black. What the fuck, guys? You spooked me for a second. Don't do that again, please and thank you. Then, Coma of Souls, perhaps one of my favorite albums of this era of creator, alongside the aforementioned Pleasure to Kill, and it is pressed on... Ooh, that's kind of neat. I'm not usually big on gray vinyl, but I, I do like this gray, pink, and red thing going on here. And this now brings us to the final album in this box set, admittedly my least favorite of this era, but I still look forward to revisiting it. Renewal! Pressed on a, ooh, kind of a black and green swirl thing going on here. I like the look of that. That looks like fucking radioactive slime or pus. I like that a lot. What else do we got in this bad boy? We got this thing. 
whatever this is, I guess, let, let's find out. I don't know. Oh! Okay, I know what this is now. It took me a second to figure it out. We have this little thing called Some Pain Will Last, which has a concert film on it, a couple concert films on it, and also a mini documentary about the band called From the Vault. That's kind of neat. Y'all ready to hear something crazy? I don't remember the last time I held a DVD in my hands. Huh. Don't blame me. Blame Netflix, Disney Plus, and Amazon. It's just fucking easier. Plain and fucking simple. This also has a very special copy of the very rare End of the World demo, recorded and released by a very young creator back in 1984. So young that they weren't even called creator, they were called Tormentor. And there also appears to be a very silly little creator action figure, which from what I understand is also a USB. Yes, it is. That's a USB, which means it should have digital copies of all of the albums that we have just looked at. Thank you, little guy. You're a good little friend. I like you already. There's also a fucking book here. All right. Story time on the Metal Meltdown, I suppose. It's mostly a lot of old photography, but it's pretty cool. Like, here's some stuff from the Tormentor days. You know, the very, very early years of Testament. Some behind-the-scenes stuff from Pleasure to Kill. Also very cool. So what the fuck is this, then? This is the package earlier that said, please do not bend, and I, I decided I wouldn't bend it. I decided I would pay attention to the box. Let's hope it paid off. Oh, this is a tarot card signed by the looks of it by Millie Petroza. That's fucking rad as shit. Whew. So yeah, um, this was fucking awesome. This was seriously fucking awesome. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I sure as hell did. I'm going to be blasting every motherfucking record for this thing for the next week. The neighbors are going to fucking hate my guts. Thank you for tuning in to this very special and very rare unboxing video. We don't normally make videos of this type, but I couldn't help but share this beautiful baby with the world. Press this button right here for updates on the Metal Meltdown e fucking immediately. And as always, you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.